Hello, welcome to Let's Play Make and Teach. Today we're going to be starting off with actually just learning. Um, the idea of this stream, which is the first of its, well, first for Super Hyper Turbo Games, essentially is we are making a video game together. And that's as a community. Um, I've used Click Team Fusion for a couple of years, which is a 2D engine. Um, and I'm making a video game for something called The Veil, which is a, a video series on YouTube. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, so, essentially, what we're looking to do is create a video game for The Veil t uh, series. Um, and in order to do so, we're going to be using a new games engine, or a new old engine, new for me, and that's uh, Unity. Um, I used it about 10 years ago, um, I haven't used it since, but um, because of that, what I thought was that um, I could go through the tutorials with you, then go through the core concepts for the game, then go through the development itself, um, all the way through to producing a demo for the game. Um, so without further ado, I think today we're just going to do a little bit of learning, we're going to be basically going through tutorials. So might be a little bit boring but obviously what I'm going to be doing is I'm learning as well as you guys uh, so it's a little bit different I hope and um, I want to sort of build a community to see where this goes today is sort of just uh, the first sort of test first episode whatever you want to call it so essentially what we need to start with is a games engine we have unity hub here uh, which you can download from unity.com um, so if I go over here, which is this website, uh, you'll need to sign up, but essentially once you signed up, download Unity Hub, get that installed, and then you'll have this software. And uh, essentially, you'll see Learn here, and we can visit Unity Learn on the side. Now, if you click that link, it will bring you to this sort of page here, Unity Learn. Okay. Now, you can see here we have pathways and we're going to be following from the very basics all the way through to something a bit more complex. We'll be learning how to do a little bit of programming um, along the way. And of course, games, they have all sorts of things inside from coding, audio, artists, animation. You've got your story. Um, you've got, it's, there's so many facets to it. It's fantastic. I absolutely love them. Um, so. Today, we're just going to be going through the essentials. I'm going to skip over the bit where we'll install Unity, but we'll then go into sort of starting our first project um, and then through to just, just getting the basics of how we use the Unity game engine. Again, as I said, I haven't used it before. Um, so today is basically we're going to be learning together. Um, and you'll see sort of the thought process. You'll see sort of what I see. You see how that is then implemented. And as we go along learning more and more about the game's engine itself and then eventually as we are doing the demo and concept itself we'll be using youtube tutorials or tutorials in general together and then learning together and then putting that into practice into the actual uh into the game itself um i've got some music on in the background just to um, help us along always got music on always helps me so i think we'll leave that as we go um you can see here, once you've started your uh, uh, path, um, essentially, it'll give you these steps as you scroll down. You can see we've already marked a few of these off. Um, yes, we're ready to start learning. We want to consider a micro game. Um, so we're on that step here. So with that, essentially, it's asking us to go to projects in the Unity Hub. So open up the Unity Hub. Go to new project and there's a few different types of games to select now the veil um, will be a 2d side scrolling uh, brawler as well as um, there'll be an overworld in a similar style it'll be a 2d however using unity we can have a 3d space so you can move your character up down left right go into buildings move around the streets i already have the concept in my head and i'll, I'll let you in a little bit more about that uh, know a little bit more about that later on but for now we're just learning 
how to use Unity. So it's asking us to do a 2D platform and micro game and learning. And just create this. Wait for it to load. Let me take a second. So it's the first stream. I hope the uh, the audio is okay. I hope the video is okay. Perhaps actually maybe turn off uh, HDR. I, I know that helps a lot sometimes. Let's make sure that's turned off. Should make it a bit easier for you guys to see what's happening on the screen. Okay. So we're just waiting a minute. Uh, there will be a little bit of this sort of stuff going on where, you know, we might wait for something to happen. I remember using uh, Unreal Engine and uh, you had to bake the lights all the time. Um, even if you moved one spotlight, just one inch over. <laughs> um, and then waiting for about four hours for it to bake was uh, rather time consuming. It's not quite the same these days. Um, it's a little bit easier. Um, uh, Unity was the other games engine, the one I never really got into too much. I spent a lot of time in Unreal Engine back in the day. Um, so we'll just see. It's nearly done. And let's see what it wants us to do first. So we've opened the projects tab, we've set a new, we've chosen 2D platforming game because that's the most similar to what we want in our concept for the veil. Um, we've already downloaded it, we've given it a name and we've opened it up. I can see Unity's just opened in the background. So we've done all of the essentials that we need for um, for starting to learn. Next, we're going to look at moving on to starting to uh, create. So I'm just going to skip all of these because uh, that would be boring to click those. Now, as you can see, we're going to start creating. I want to get started with you, so we're just going to start this tutorial. Right, okay. It's got the overview. Now, don't worry about any of this stuff here. Done all that, done all that. Let's get started with the Unity editor. Before you begin, so here we have a video. Now, as I said, as we're going along in tutorials, we will be watching the videos together on the stream. Um, so let's take a look. Opening the editor was hilarious now that I look back at it because I opened it and then I went no and I closed it. <laughs> that was my first experience. I looked at it and I thought, I don't know what this is. I have no idea where to begin. Because you have all these little boxes, you have all these different tabs and then you click on the window tab and there's more tabs and you're like, what do I use all this stuff for? I don't. It definitely didn't look like anything that I was familiar with. I had a really hard time navigating the menu. It was intimidating for a long time. When I opened it up for the first time, I was still very young. I would say it was a little scary, but that went away very quick. I love learning new things. It's always been something that I really enjoy doing and I love anything creative. In fact, I still have the first project I ever made where I managed to make a gray cube move around the screen with the arrow keys. I was super excited about that because I'm like, I've made a game. It was just really exciting to be able to, to kind of get whatever ideas were in my head down into, onto the screen. Cool. Yeah, well, it reminds me of the old projects I've done. I've made several games in the past, and I'll fill you in on those uh, at a later time. So right now, we're going to be looking to create primitive uh, objects like a cube. Let's do that. Nice and easy. So, da, 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 load tutorials. 
In this tutorial, you'll begin to explore the basics of the Unity Editor. As you play test the beginning of the platform micro game, uh, micro game, review the Unity Editor interface and make the player go faster. Okay, so let's do this. Enter play mode. First, let's try the game using play mode. You can select play in the toolbar at the top of the Unity Editor. And then we'll go deeper. The scene view in the center of the cell is where you'll manipulate. So that's this bit here. And when you enter play mode, the scene view changes into the game view. Okay, cool. Let's, let's see what happens. Cool. Okay, so that's pretty basic. That's pretty cool. So now, sent. I thought we were going to start with a queue, but we we'll go into this instead. So we're going to go to the player. It's going to ask us to increase the max speed. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Uh, let's just max it to uh, 10, I guess. And then click next. Okay, and then we go back into it. Now if you move around. My lord. That is pretty quick. Okay. So cool, right, so essentially it's telling us we got our assets and we got our attributes on the right hand side. So that's quite cool. Okay, tutorial two, save. Edit to basics. So now we're gonna learn how to change your view with a hand tool and move a game object with the move tool. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. So the hand tool is at the top left up here. This means we can move around the game world. I guess we can zoom in, zoom out with scroll. Oh, if you hold down the Alt and the right mouse button, nice smooth scroll there, in and out. Okay. And next, select the Move tool, and I guess we can select an object. Not sure which object we've got there. Any selected game object. So, let's select the Move tool, select a game object of some sort, which one do we want? Not sure what we're selecting, but there we go. Select the yellow token in the scene view and select it. Okay. Oh, right. It's one of those things you pick up. Right. Okay. Cool. Okay. And we've done that. Completed the tutorial. Next, it says we're going to learn how to change colors of certain objects. Interesting. Okay. So we're going to make our game more colorful, apparently. Let's see where this takes us. So we're going to make the player. Zoom in a little bit. I can't see the player right now, and I guess that's just because he's an asset and he'll pull on sort of animations and all sorts of bits and bobs later on when you click play. However, you can frame the player by pressing F. Oh, there he is. You can see him. Cool. Next, in the sprite renderer. There we go. I can see it here. There's the color. So we're going to select that. Let's choose a nice red color. And then next. And then nice and easy. So far, so good. So let's add an enemy. In this tutorial, you'll add an enemy prefab. So these are the prefabs down here. Make your game more, uh, to make your game more challenging. Interesting. So we've got something already created. I can see there was already one there. There's one there. So click and drag the enemy prefab onto the screen. Oops. Uh oh. And I've lost the scene. So how do we get back to that? Uh, game. Click the game tab at the top. Drag the name onto it, perhaps. So, this is where we learn something. How do we go back to where we were? Uh, let's cancel. Let's go back into it. Add an enemy. Save. 
add an enemy. Click start. Drag the prefab onto the screen. That was the step one, and we failed, but we'll we'll do it again. Okay. Cool. Next, move the enemy. Okay, I kind of. That's where I got lost because I tried to do that before, but that's okay. Here we go. Next, rotate and scale the enemy. Let's just check something over here. Step one, and we. Okay, cool. So, next is uh, use the rotate tool. So there's one of those as well. Got it. Build and publish. Why not? So let's do that next. <clears throat> okay, so when you're ready, this tutorial will guide you through building and publishing your game on a web page. Okay. Click start. Open the web WebGL publisher from publish. So click publish at the top, WebGL project. And let's get started. How to install. So let's do that. This is on the other screen. It's giving us a little bit extra here. So we need to open the Unity Hub. Go to installs. that so we want to add it so click on this click on the settings add modules okay that makes sense so there's a settings tab over here uh, settings sort of button add modules webgl build support i guess that's it continue and install this is going to take a second i think <laughs> Yeah, go for it. <clears throat> okay. Downloaded and installing. It's quite a small uh, package. It's only about 20 meg, I guess. So. Right, so back to here, add modules, we've done all this sort of stuff, which means we can now go back to the engine, okay, let's just keep waiting, fantastic, 1.56 gigs, that's okay, in the meantime, let's go back to the original tutorial that we did, so I go back to this one here. We went and start creating. And then we had a cube to make. So I'll tell you what we'll do. As fun as it is publishing, let's start with a new scene. And cancel this tutorial because it's no fun. Okay, we have our scene. Um back to that I think interesting so it's coming over to this one let's go back to the basics we've got our scene view here it's in 2d mode at the moment but I know you can click to 3d by going here okay and then right click to move around so I can now move around a 3d space interesting Okay, now this thing here is asking us to create a cube. So, create a cube, primitive in the scene, uh, right click an empty section in the hierarchy and select 3D. So, 3D object, so I'm right clicking on the left hand side, cube, and it's created a cube. Okay, if I want to drop that down. Okay, once we've done that, we should see it in the hierarchy, which we do. Okay. It does have a directional light as well, so should we add one of those in? Yeah. That's a bit nicer, isn't it? Okay. Now we're going to go back into the hierarchy and focus on the cube and zoom out a bit. 
use the move tool, which we've just done, and follow the process to add another cube. And they're both a meter by a meter. So, 3D object, cube, move him out of the way, move this one into the same space. And we have two cubes, just like the tutorial asked us to do. Now, it's asking us to scale the one and rotate the other. So, if I select one of these, and presume that we've got a pure scale, there it is. Lovely jubbly. And this one over here, rotate. Okay, how are we looking? It's pretty similar to that thing there. Uh, so I'm sort of comfortable with using WASD and right clicking on the scene to sort of move around. Um, there's also a scroll as well. Uh oh, and I've just broken it. Uh, there's a Yeah, there's also a scroll over here. So it reminds me a little bit of the old uh, Maya that I used to to use when you're doing it like that. Um, okay, cool. And then we've got some orbit stuff up here, is it? No, that's okay. And in this tutorial, we certainly did. We used move, scale, rotate. And we added some cubes and also a directional light, uh, which I presume as well, I can also sort of move around like that. Lovely. Okay, so, um, so we've done a basic tutorial today. That's all it is. We follow the steps in that one there. There was another one which we could access from tutorials at the top, show tutorials, and it gave us, because we're doing a 2D platform, a micro game, we went through the first four sort of stages here, down to uh, build and publish, but uh, we have to wait for this. So, I've mentioned that we are making a game called uh, uh, For the Veil. It's called, at the moment, it's called The Veil Video Game. Um, and essentially, uh, I wanted to show you an episode of that. Um, now, uh, there is a lot of swearing, so if, uh, if you're under the age of, I don't know, you even know 18, there's a, there's a lot of swearing. Um, you might want to turn off now, um, but we'll have a listen to this, uh, we'll watch this together. It's only about three minutes long. So I'm just going to fade into it. Here we go. And then uh, let's just get this thing playing. said for the safety of our utopia. There are some things you cannot know, Yamaguchi. Kitame, I've, I've lost all sense of who you are. You're only 12 years old. Don't use my age as a pawn for your betrayal. The true identity of your father is too much to bear. I demand the truth, or else we battle. No need. It is I who is your father. Oh no! But you're a monster. You've killed so many. Everyone I killed, I killed to protect you. Well, why did you torture all of them? <laughs> Pardon me for finding joy in my work. <laughs> I must withhold my tears and only convey an appearance of rage. Only my private soul within me may shed one. Tony, who's ready? Stop playing with your food, man. Oh, I don't like salad. I don't care, eat it. Yeah, you got steak. Tony, I'm not a fucking one. Master size of a fucking beach whale, but... My name's not Tony, it's Anthony. And that's another thing, I. You go to college today, end? No. So you've been up there all day, fucking watching that Chinese fucking animation shit. But my, um... My anxiety was playing up. Oh, don't talk so shit, man. I have anxiety, I... I can't help it. You can fucking help it. 
All you ever fucking do is sit upstairs all day, all fucking night watching that Chinese. They're not Chinese, they're Japanese. Chinese, Japanese, Taiwanese, it don't matter. All I can ever hear is ding dong wong songs from your fucking room all night. It's fucking kid shit. And you can't help having anxiety. You have anxiety because you stay up all night, sleep all day, and because you're fucking fat. Never can eat your salad. Get your ass up that fucking wooden hill and you can get some sleep. I'm driving you into college first thing. And I was talking to your mother and I'm taking you shooting this weekend. No, the anime convention is on Saturday. What the fuck is an anime convention? Yeah, I forgot he was looking forward to that. What is it? It's like this, it's this huge event. Satoshi Momoshi is going to be there. Katie Kaiwai, the best cos, she's like the best cosplayer. Uh, I, I, I can't miss it. I, I bought tickets last year. I'm cosplaying there with Tim. Fuck is, what the fuck? What the fuck is cosplaying? It's when you dress up as your favourite character from like an anime or a game to show like your respect. Me, me and Tim are going to go as Jesse and James from Pokemon. We've spent like so much money on the costumes. You can't like not let me go. I have to go on Saturday. No, oh, like fuck are you coming fucking and doing me rather than going to that fucking shit. Now fucking eat your tomatoes. You gotta be up early. Break it on. Yeah, brilliant. So that's the first episode uh, that my mate Adam Llewellyn um, uh, made of The Veil, and uh, he's on season three now, uh, and it's it's brilliant. I'd thoroughly recommend just binge watching it whenever you get a chance. Um, so I thought we're pretty much at the end of it today. Um, uh, so what we'll be doing is uh, starting off with um, another tutorial in a couple of days, um, so I'll schedule that up. Um, and then we'll watch episode two, um, and then we'll start on uh, on more sort of. This is pretty basic at the moment in terms of what we're going to be doing, but um, yeah, essentially, once we've done our tutorials, we're going to start building our own game, uh, which might be quite interesting to do. And and we'll be doing it together as well. Um, if this goes anywhere other than two people, um, then I'll start to to put a community together, and um, as it'll be open source. As the game um, gets developed, each, each each stream, I'll release that game uh, video, the game file, uh, onto say a Discord server or, or somewhere similar, just so you guys can download it. Um, and there we are. Thank you very much uh, for your time today, um, and thanks for watching. And um, I'll see you guys.